Hi, this is Congressman Jeff Fortenberry, and first of all, let me welcome all of you who are attending the conference at the University of Nebraska on uh, young and beginning and small farmers. I'm very excited that you're there, and let me thank my good friend, Dr. Mike Baim, uh, Vice Chancellor of Research at the University, as well as uh, Chairman Smith of the Farm Credit Administration for hosting today's event. It's a really, really important initiative that's going on here. For a number of years, Congress has passed legislation and funded uh, beginning farmers initiatives, financing and otherwise, to help with the situation in America, given the average age of the farmer is about 58 years old and only about 10% of farmers are under the, under the age of 35. But in addition to that, we are all about trying to grow the ag family. Production agricultural, traditional means of production are of course the mainstay and the backbone of this competitive, amazing use, utilization of our natural resources gifts in America, along with the innovation of our farmers and ranchers, we lead the world in terms of the lowest grocery prices. In fact, we produce so much food commodities that we are able to meet our charitable impulse by giving away about $2 billion worth of food uh, around the world to the world's poor. This also helps us with diplomacy and creating conditions for stability. So we, what we want to do here today is talk about the re practical realities of financing and other available programs that are, are available to you if you're a starting a farm or thinking about small-scale agriculture. Your initiatives, your innovation, your entrepreneurship, your ideas are essential, again, to growing the ag family and creating localized economies where we are connecting the farmer to the family and the food to the school and reestablishing this rural urban economic dynamic with healthy, nutritious, fresh foods. Uh, this has huge complementary benefits, again, for our economy, for opportunity for you, but also dovetails very nicely with some of the new advancing research that's going on at the university. Uh, we are undertaking a new project in concert with the university called Farm of the Future. We have something in Washington called the Agricultural Research Service that does all types of research across this nation. And hopefully very soon, we're going to have a new facility there that is focused on uh, high tech and how we use precision agriculture, how we are using regenerative agriculture, and how we build in resiliency for 21st century agricultural production. So obviously that has huge benefits for reducing input cost and improving yields as well as revenue to production agriculture, but it has huge implications as well for the growing movement among small scale of farming. Uh, a number of years ago as well, prior to COVID, I had challenged uh, Chairman Smith. I said, why don't we do a conference on uh, financing options that are available for young and beginning farmers or small scale farming? And he graciously agreed. Of course, that was before COVID and we've been disrupted a bit, a bit because of that. But I'm so happy the conference has finally come together now. Finally, let me talk about this in terms of what it means to have a 21st century architecture of security and prosperity, not only for Nebraska, but also the entire world. Without food, civilization lasts about three days. And again, as I said earlier, the amount of food that we produce in our, in our country gives us a natural competitive advantage in terms of trading worldwide, but it's more important than that. Our ability to help the poor create the conditions for st stability, stops migration, stops desertification, our ability to move our innovation and research, advanced research at universities into the hands of people worldwide, stops malnutrition, improves health, and again, we benefit from that both economically and culturally. So to the degree I know that you are called in your heart of hearts to, to use your own two hands to, to toil, the to, to till the ground, if you will to toil and make things that are essential and good, and that starts with food. And so I'm so proud, again, to represent you in the United States Congress, to be a part of these new movements in agriculture, building upon our traditional competitive advantages, and looking forward, this, forward to this new 21st century architecture where food is at the center of thinking about how we create conditions for stability, prosperity, and peace. Thank you so much.